What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I want to talk about my genetics and what my potential is in powerlifting. So this picture was taken of me while I was 13 years old and I've never touched a gym in the weight or never really done anything um, to like a powerlift, bodybuilding, something like that. Uh, I only ate junk food and played computer all day and I was 13 years old and still looked pretty decent. So to look at my progression we need to look at where I started and um, I said they didn't record anything when I started because I didn't thought that like I had I didn't think about that I would need it later <laughs> when I did it but I remember the first time I ever went to the gym with my dad and my sister and we had no idea what we were doing basically <laughs> Like, we didn't even knew the exercises. So we just walked up, found the bench press, it was taken, and so we just used the incline bench press, which is harder than normal bench press, and started up. And uh, first weight, no, never tried anything, started out with 40 kg for 10 easy reps. And at this time I was 14 years old and had never touched a weight, and I basically just I didn't even do any sports, I just ate junk food and played computer all day. So to be able to walk up and do like, I don't remember, 5 sets of 10 kg, no of 40 kg, uh, 10 reps is super easy at the first time ever. You can't do that with like average genetics. So every day I basically went to the gym, did some bench press and got home again, did some machines maybe. I didn't know what else to do than bench press, so that's basically all I did every single day. <laughs> so yeah, I just kept progressing and uh, I think after a bit of time I hit 80 kg one rep max and I didn't really try any more until like a few weeks later I tried 90 kg and then a week later I tried 95 kg and a week later I tried 100 kg and I just kept going like that. I also started learning about other lifts and I started to know about powerlifting and Larry Reels and Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those guys. So I started uh, wondering about the squats and deadlift and also wanted to try that. Um, so I basically tried the deadlift a couple of months ago. Uh, I had already tried that once, but I didn't really understand it and I like had the craziest cat bag you've ever seen but I just like first time ever I pulled 100 kg pretty easy and just like felt this was wrong I didn't do this right so I just stopped and decided to only do it when I knew how to do it so I think this was my first ever video with uh, the 140 kg deadlift maybe I did one deadlift video before that but this is basically when I started to realize that I had potential for the deadlift instead of the bench press. Uh, not that I can't do bench press, it's just that I'm more built for the deadlift and uh, I didn't have like good form, it's not that, <clears throat> but I had more safe form than the cat bag. It was basically a stiff legged deadlift but it's not a rounding bag so I, and I didn't feel any pain so I was just like as long as I don't feel anything I'm willing to go. And I just kept on adding weight to the bar. Uh, I got some straps, tried them, um, couldn't really feel much of a difference because my grip wasn't an issue. But uh, I just used them anyways uh, because I didn't know about hook grip or mixed grip. So I kept adding about like almost 10 kg a week to my deadlift. And this time I still, still didn't really know what I was doing. I bought a cheap velcro build, got the straps and kept progressing with uh, yeah, not really 10kg a week but close to that. I added 60kg in 2 months to my deadlift. But this is also, it's not like I got 60kg stronger. My, my technique uh, improved, I switched to sumo, I, I got new equipment, I did a lot of stuff to improve my deadlift. And this is my first time ever trying sumo deadlifting. Uh, it was honestly pretty decent, but it's not like... 
and uh, this was my first 200 kg deadlift ever. It wasn't good form or anything, but like I was really happy about it. So um, I just kept progressing after that. Next goal, 250. And on the bench press, I am, uh, didn't really progress as much because um, my bench press started out stronger. Uh, my bench press started with being like 75% of my deadlift, now it's like 50% of my deadlift. So my bench press started out stronger, I had already trained that for quite a bit when I did um, my first deadlift. And I also have really long arms, um, or like my wingspan is 189 and I am 183 centimeters tall. So it's still pretty, I think the average is just the same wingspan as height. So I have pretty long arms compared to that. Um, but my bench press still progressed, um, not nearly as much as my deadlift, but it kept going with like two and a half kg at the same time as my deadlift did 10 kg, five kg. Um, kept going. Didn't really gain much weight, um, which would have made it easier, but I gained still a bit of weight. I gained like 5kg. Here you can see that I gained quite a bit of weight compared to my 90kg uh, bench press. This was my first um, like better deadlift, oh bench press. And uh, after this set, I just I um, uh, learned about pause deadlift and started to do that instead of touch and go all the time. It's not really touch and go; it's more like bounce rips. So here I just kept up uh, my normal progression. Um, this is uh, a work up to my 230 kg deadlift, but this is not the same setup as my 200 kg deadlift that I did back then. It's a different bar. <coughs> it's not a deadlift bar, but uh, it's a little bit thinner, which makes it a bit easier in the start. And uh, to hold grip on it is also a bit easier. Um, and I have the blocks, which makes it a little bit easier because these blocks are only like one centimeter. So it's a minor difference with the blocks, but with the bar makes actually quite a bit of difference. Right now my max is 225 with the competition standard and 240 with this standard. So it's still quite a big difference actually. And uh, here you can see my 230 kg deadlift and uh, it makes sense to get the 230 kg deadlift around like 5 months later than my 200 kg deadlift because of like normal progression and change in setup. I also, um, yeah, changed the setup with to like the different bar and the different blocks. And here, around a month later than my 230kg deadlift, I decided to go for a 240kg and then 250kg next month and 260kg next month. So I basically just decided to go 10kg a month. That's a fine progression for me and uh, my 240kg was uh, with a build, my 230kg wasn't, so it was actually easier than my 230kg. And my 250kg was even easier than my 240kg, because I progressed more than 10kg in a month. So here's my 240kg, um, pretty solid.